Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is Kinkoni E16P relay module. You can see this is a 16 channel removable relay module. And this also can install on the DIN rail. So you can see this is a plastic shoe. And this time we have designed this manual control button on the PCB board so that you can use this country relay on off in any time. So this not need the software, not need the network, not need to use the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet. Just this switch button is controlling this release coin directly. So that is physically. So anytime you can use this turn on and turn off for many country or release state. And this is LED indicate so that the relay is on and off. So the LED will be on and off. Okay, you can see uh, this time, uh, this have some interface at this side and the USB and this is a PoE module. So if you want to use this PoE function uh, you without the power supply, you just plug in this uh, PoE module. So this can work with the PoE switch. And this is Ethernet and this is extender antenna that is for RF receiver. Uh, Inside have a IF receive module. Later I will show you on the PCB board. And this is the Wi-Fi antenna that is for ESP32. And this relay that is 6 ampere. Uh, you can see here. And every terminal that have calm and normal open. So this is channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. Okay, let's look at this PCB inside because this have two PCB board. This is the top. And this is the button. And we can look at this PCB bar that have this button PCB. Okay, that is ESP32. You can see here this ESP32. So this can extend the Wi-Fi antenna. So you will see uh, this have a extend SMA Wi-Fi antenna at here because we have already connect with this. IPEX socket. Okay, the Ethernet and the PoE socket and the USB. And you can see that is the HMI device. We can see that's this label. And that is for uh, such as the serial port uh, HMI displayer. That is for XT, TXT, and the power supply and the ground, uh, such as you can use the next gen displayer that can be reprogrammable and the touch screen. And this have the I2C interface at here, so you will be easy to connect with your extend I2C device. And also this is also is I2C interface, uh, just by this socket. And this is seen. And this is four channel analog input, uh, CH1 to CH4, that is four channel analog from 0 volt to 5 volt and there, this is RS485 interface for RS485 communication by mode bus and this is the power supply the DC power can support DC 12 volt or DC 24 volt so just connect with this power supply if you want to use the DC 12 volt so you can plug in this DC 12 relay you can see uh, this is 12 Person relay. If you want this board work with the 24 volt, you can replace this relay with the 24 version. So if you uh, buy from us, you can tell us if you want 24 volt, we will replace this all relay with the DC 24 volt version. Okay, this is the relay, and also at here you can see that is the RF receive module. So this is 433 MHz receive module. In the default, we will have this antenna inside. If you want to install this board to a metal power distribution box, want to extend this Wi-Fi antenna, you can switch this antenna and to this SMA socket. So that can use a cable and connect with this IF receive module. So that can extend your RF antenna. Okay, and you can see it here. That is the driver of PCF. 
8574. So that is for extended GPIO. And for this is the input. That is digital input. You can see here the digital input 1, input 9, and input 9 to input 16. So this has 16 channel digital input. This digital input also can use for 300 meters uh, for long distance. And for the test, you can see that have a menu control button, just a 16 channel buttons for this 16 channel input. So you can test the any use any dry contact sensor, uh, such as a switch button and such as a dry contact sensor, smoke sensor, or gas sensor or door sensor connect with this 16 channel input. Okay, this is the PCB board in front and this is the back, back side of the PCB board. And this board made by ESP32. So you can integrate to Home Assistant by ESP Home. Also, you can write your own Arduino code uh, to drive this all functions. Because this board, we have opened this schematic you can download from our website and also have many Arduino source code and also support Tuya because it supports the KCS firmware so that you can use the Tuya by Ethernet or by the Wi-Fi for remote control by Internet. Okay, let's look at some software and document on our PC. Okay, let's look at this our schematic of E16P board. And this schematic, you can see here, have all showed the details and different circuit. And you can download from our Cancunis website. Uh, you can see that E16P schematic download from service and the software and the document. And here you can see in our form, there are many results of this E16P because the E16P hardware resource and pin define almost as thing as this E16S. So you can see here that is ESP32 GPIO define or at here that can use for ESP home. And also you can see that is the ESP home config uh, just this YAML file. You can download and copy to ESP home directly to use. And many results uh, such as some uh, Arduino source code, you can see it here, Arduino source code. This also can run in on the E16P bar directly. And another way you can use this KCS firmware so that can use our bar directly. You can see here, you can just download E16S bar to your E16P bar KCS firmware directly. So that you can use this powerful function just uh, download by USB and use the KCS firmware so that you can see there are many functions for input for output and uh, many sheets uh, by this web page and also you can use the FTTT this is a powerful function use the input and the track output and input the sensor uh, track automatically track the sense mode and create by yourself so there are have many details about this KCS firmware. You can check on our webpage. Okay, this is our E16P board. Thanks for watching.